Hello again, everybody. This is Rob Bobberty, and welcome to Red.exe. And this, of course, is a .exe game based on Pokemon. I think I played Professor Oak. I don't know if there's already been a Red.exe, so there may be different ones. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. I am Oak. Doom! I think I said C to, uh... Oak, the sign is scratched and unreadable. Oh, well... T Wait a minute. Is that me? That looks like me over there. Dead. No, no, okay. What have we got in here? This is, looks like a Poké Center, sort of. Uh, okay, nothing there. Ah, a computer. Let's see what we can find there. Error, no incoming connections detected. Okay, that was useful. Doop, doop. Oh, there's a bunch of dead people. Hello, dead people. Oh, no. Red, I knew you were too young to understand. Why did I let you go? Is that... That's red? I don't understand. The sign is scratched and unreadable. Okay. Apparently that's locked. Are you scratched and unreadable? The sign is scratched and unreadable. Yes. Yes, you are. Okay, here's a random sign over here. It's probably scratched and unreadable. Yes, the sign is scratched and unreadable. Okay, well, let's see what's here, because that looked like... Oh. Uh, let me just check down here real quick. Red. Okay. Can I see that? Nope. Okay. Do, do, do. We could move a little bit faster. Is this going to be the same thing as before? Oh, no, Red, I knew you were too young to understand. Too young to understand what? Why did I let you go? Understand what? I don't think anything that's going on should make any sense to you. Okay, I guess I can't go in any of those. I'm gonna pause until I get up top. Pause uh, every once in a while to save you from the walking, but hopefully don't miss any jump scares or anything. What do we have here? This looks familiar. What is this? Oh, this is the Pokemon Tower. Looks like you use like the actual maps or something. Okay, let's see what we can find upstairs. <laughs> to be some ghosty goes. Oh, hello, Red. Red. Okay, I can't look at the tombstones. There's supposed to be two endings for it, too. I don't know if I'm going to find both of them or not. Uh, I guess I'll just follow the blood trail. I don't know if there's actually hidden stuff. If I should check everywhere, I'll just take the quick path for now. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. Who spilled all this strawberry jam all over the place and trekked it with their feet? That is not polite. Not polite at all. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Someone seems to be spreading more jam about the place. And he went in a circle. Okay. Am I following red then? Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Hmm, that would be the safe place in the real game. I'm guessing that's not the case here. I'm guessing it's a dead place. Nope, nothing there, okay. I don't know if there's a menu or anything, I don't think so. I kinda wanna explore everywhere. We just walked a little faster. Just a little bit. Oh, hello. That's interesting. What the heck is that over there? It looks like a Pikachu tail. What's Red up to? Oh no, Red, what have you done? Oh no. That's not good. Red is dismembering his Pokemon. That's not good at all. It's not his blood. I assumed it was his blood and he was in danger. Or dead. But instead, he has gone nutso. We're in Pokemon Tower. Maybe he got possessed by a spirit that's making him do sorts of all sorts of awful things. Let's just uh, walk through the blood here. Yeah, same thing. Pikachu tail. Okay. What on earth are you doing, Red? Uh, <laughs> summoning a demon? Oh, hello. Oh, is my mouse in the way there? No. What the heck? Hi, Red. How's it going? 
How's it hanging? Uh, oh, hello. Get ready to run out of here, Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu does not look happy. Run! Run away, Pikachu! Oh, apparently I can't get around you. Why don't you shock... Stay here and hide, Pikachu. No, I want you to shock him. Shock him! Shock him! Okay. Let's dance! Okay. Leave Pikachu here and go away! Uh... I don't want to. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess I can't go up there. Do I say the same thing? Stay here and hide, Pikachu. Get ready to run out of here, Pikachu. Oh, I see. I was telling him which way to go. Okay, so now I'll be able to run. Maybe. Leave Pikachu here and go away. Nope, that didn't work that way. Will you go with me? Should I really save Pikachu? Y yeah, I imagine. Okay, now we run away. Run away! Do I have Pikachu? Oh, hello! Why are you following me? It's okay, just... We're all good. You don't need to follow me! You don't need to follow me, Red! Are you crying and your eyes are bloody? Is that what's going on there? Run away! Oh, I can't get it that way! Crap! I have to go with... Ugh, after several days and with no sign of Oak. Oak's assistants informed the Cerulean police of the professor's disappearance, and after receiving an anonymous tip, an officer was dispatched to investigate. Upon arriving in the ruins of Lavender Town, Officer Jenny of the Cerulean police found Oak's remains. However, with no signal and no other choice, she decided to travel back to Cerulean City for forensics and backup. On her way back through the rock tunnel, she stopped as a child's cry echoed in the darkness ahead. Against her best instinct, she marched on and followed the mild whimpering. The tunnels became too dark to see. She clicked on her flashlight and scanned the empty tunnel. She walked down with something light connected with her foot. She flicked the beam down. There at her feet was a red cap. Suddenly, there was a rush of air, and something cold brushed her throat. The cold was instantly replaced by spreading warmness as speckles of deep crimson dotted the red cap. Neither Oaks nor Jenny's body had has been found since. Programming. DAL Games. Sprites ripped by Polar, Koala, and Sonic Chaos. This is a fan game and doesn't represent Pokemon in any form, <laughs> really. <laughs> Please don't sue me. I won't. Okay, well, that was interesting. I gotta see what the other end is. I guess if I get away, maybe? I don't know. Let's see, I don't know if this is gonna end. I'm gonna stop recording right now and start back up. As I expected, the game just exited out when it was done talking there, so I stopped recording and I started again, and I'm going to pause until I get somewhere new or find something different. Apparently I can't leave the area. Can't leave until I find Red. Oh, wait a minute. That's me when I fall out. That's weird. No will fall, pushed out by a demented psychopath. You know, whatever. Okay, so it definitely makes him... If I talk to him, he says, Get ready to run out of here and facing me. And then I say, Stay here and hide, and he's facing away. And it, it goes back and forth, so that must be an alternate way. So I don't know if that means tell him to hide while I deal with Red. Leave Pikachu here and go away. Okay, so now I'm leaving Pikachu here. Should I really leave Pikachu? Okay. So I guess it means he maybe won't chase me. We'll see in a moment. Uh, nope, he's still chasing me. Uh, I don't know if I can... Maybe I can't get away from him. I have a feeling it might be that. God damn it, you're fast. Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh, he's faster than me. He's faster than me. I don't think I can get away from him. Oh. He's not going through stuff, at least. Oh, yeah, he's going faster than me. Am I safe in here? That would be nice. No, I don't think I can make it away from him at all. Uh, get away. Get away. Oh. Oh, did I make it? I made it. Oh, where do I need to go here? I don't remember. Oh, he's getting faster, I think. It's the right way. I don't even know. Oh, I don't think it's possible to get away from him. Nope. Okay, I don't think you can get away from him. There's supposed to be two endings, so if this is different than the other one, that must be the two. After se several days and with no sign of Oak, Oak's assistants informed the Cerulean police of the professor's disappearance, and after receiving an anonymous tip, an officer was dispatched to investigate. Upon arriving in the ruins of Lavender Town, Officer Jenny of the Cerulean police found Oak's remains. However, with no signal and no other choice, she decided to travel back to Cerulean City for forensics and backup. On her way back through the rock tunnel, she stopped as a child's cry echoed in the darkness ahead. 
Against her best instincts, she marched on and followed the mild whimpering. In the tunnels became too dark to see. She clicked on her flashlight and scanned the empty tunnels. She walked on to something like an food cap. Suddenly there was a rush of air and the speculator deep cry. The same thing as that. Okay, so I did not find the alternate ending. So the alternate ending must mean getting away. Or did I? Oh, shoot. Did I leave him that way and not realize it? I'm going to have to try it again and see. I'll be back. So I'm just going to try it again and see if I can get away from him. It doesn't really seem like it, but I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, and I also explored all around, uh, the, all around in the tower, and I didn't find anything else in all the different paths here. I have a crazy thought. There's like a Pikachu tail. What's right up to you? I have a crazy thought. He took Pikachu's tail off. If he had his tail, would that affect... You know, maybe he can't shock because he doesn't have his tail. I don't think that would be how the show or the game ever described it, but it's a possibility. What on earth are you doing, Red? You crazy some bitch. So should I try to get the tail? I don't really know what else to do. I could try to go back into this before he comes out. That's just crazy enough to work. Okay, so Pikachu, get ready to run out of here, Pikachu. Okay, so he says the same thing. Oh, he's leave Pikachu here and go away. Okay. Should I really save Pikachu? Yes. Okay. He probably shows up there immediately, doesn't he? Oh, nope. Ah, dang it. Died right away. So I'm trying to just get away from him again, but I don't know that it's possible. It seems like he speeds up at a couple points. It makes it pretty much impossible, but maybe I just wasn't going the right way. Oh yeah, maybe I wasn't going the quickest way. Maybe that was the problem. So that might be the other ending, is getting out of the building or something. We'll hopefully see in a moment. Oh, now I'm going faster than him. I'm pretty sure I was going slower than him before. Interesting. Oh, I actually did make it to the end here. Maybe. Get away from me, Red, you psycho son of a bitch. I made it out! Yay! Now what? Now there's still that... What looks like me up there. Is he still following me? Ah, oh, crap. Do I have to leave? Oh. Don't do this to me. Yay, okay. Yay! Ah! Upon escaping Lavender Town together, Oak and Pikachu made it back to Cerulean City. Oak told the police about his experience in Lavender Town with Red, and immediately, police were dispatched through the rock tunnels to Lavender Town. As told by Oak, they found Red chipping away at his head with a cubone skull. He was soon apprehended and sent to the Polka Asylum. Pikachu was moved to a secure Polka Center, where he later died. No one has seen Red to this day. Well, that was a lovely, happy story. Um, now, it's said that there are two endings so I don't know if that means that was the two or is there another good ending where you actually uh, hmm or you actually save don't save save Pikachu I don't know well this has been Rob Boberty with red.exe and if you want to play the game and see if maybe I missed an ending there somewhere the link is down below uh, the only thing I didn't do is I didn't escape successfully by telling when I told Pikachu to hide. I don't think that could be a better ending, unless Pikachu uh, comes to my rescue later or something. I don't know. But anyway, this has been Rob Boberty, and as always, likes, subscribes, and shares are always appreciated. And thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.